Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Palace at Coldwater High School, where tonight on WOSN, we've got the number two ranked St. Henry Redskins taking on the top ranked Coldwater Cavaliers in a big time Midwest Athletic Conference matchup. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Dave Bowen, and Dave, we have two very good volleyball teams tonight here inside the Palace. We most certainly do, Garrett. It's great to be your wingman this evening. 9-1 St. Henry, 11-0 Coldwater. St. Henry, they defeated New Bremen already this season, opening league play with the Cardinals. They're not necessarily in the driver's seat, but they are at the front of the bus. Coldwater would like to be right there beside them by defeating them this evening. You're absolutely right. I think there is a consensus that the Midwest Athletic Conference title could be decided here tonight. Obviously, there's still plenty of volleyball left to play, but two of the better teams in the Midwest Athletic Conference, two teams very familiar with one another as Coldwater took down St. Henry twice during the regular season in 2023, but the Redskins got the victory in the district finals and moved on to the regionals, and I'm sure that's a, a match that Coldwater would like to have a little revenge in here tonight. Yeah, it's something that you don't forget, but in talking with Coach Etzler board before tonight's match, she said, I don't know that revenge is the right word. We have so much respect for St. Henry's program. You would like to avenge that loss mm -hmm. tonight, and they're going to have that opportunity here very shortly. Taking a look at the starters tonight for the Coldwater Cavaliers, Mia Kanapke, the setter for Coldwater. She has 100, no, 343 assists at this point in the season for Coldwater, who's 11-0, has not lost a set. There are some players who don't get to 343 assists in their high school careers, and she's got it through the first 11 games. Yeah, correct. If she ever wants to be a waitress, I want her to work for me because she dishes it out, <laughs> does an outstanding job, 343 assists, and she goes to her big hitters, Spencer Etzler and Morgan Blasingay. Raya Busher will serve it away to get us underway. It's received by Coldwater. Spencer Etzler will take some off of it on the first kill attempt for the Cavaliers. A big swing from Ellie Fullenkamp from her middle hitter spot. Gets St. Henry on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard first. Ellie Fullenkamp, she leads St. Henry in kills with 86. Make that 87 now on the season. Busher sends it away one more time. As Kanaki, the cross court pass to Etzler. She won't take any off that time. It's dug out by Butcher. Lauren Tiemann, the cross court pass to the near side, kept alive by Coldwater. Joust to Thinet. As Kanaki tries to dump it in the campfire, the Redskins are ready. As Tiemann will pass to the near side. Bomber takes a running swing, knocks it to the floor, and it's quickly 2 0 Redskins. A great dig on that volley by Raya Busher, one of the best liberos you're going to see in all of Ohio. We saw her really lead her team against New Bremen. Early dig there allows her team to volley for the point. Serving in the back row, received by Campbell Etzler. Spencer Etzler, the swing, she'll find the floor for the first point for the Cavaliers. And yes, Campbell and Spencer are the daughters of head coach Nikki Etzler and assistant head coach Mike Etzler for Goldwater. It's a family affair. Spend lots of time with one another during the volleyball season, that's for certain. Hey, Spencer Etzler leads the team in aces and she'll drop one in the bucket right there. Her 32nd ace of the season ties it at two. 32 aces already. That's incredible. She throws a knuckleball out there. Yes, that sir. ball's moving all over the place. She'll send it away one more time into the back row. Dug out by Morgan Robinette. Team it. Cross court pass. Third near side bomber blocked at the net. And quickly, Coldwater has a 3 2 lead. Good block at the net. That sets tone, helps to create momentum when you can take that hard hit from the opponent and shove it right back down on their side of the net. Butcher, the dig in the back row. Sent forward by St. Henry. As Blossom Game takes her first cut, it's long for square three. Blossom Game, the leading kill artist for Coldwater with 168. Goes long on that one, just overcooked it, Garrett. Miley Kramer will check out of the game in exchange for Addie Holman for St. Henry. Holman, a sophomore setter. Averages a set and a half, a assist and a half per set. And she'll serve. Blossom game, the running attack. It's blocked right at the net. 
Ellie Fullenkamp and Morgan Bomber combined to close the window. Fullenkamp with the block, as, as you said, along with Bomber. Fullenkamp second on the squad in that category with 14. Now make it 15 blocks on the year. Well, top spin on that serve is Kanapke. Sesta Blasi aimed the fingertip over the net. Teeman, quick set, kept alive by the Coldwater Cavaliers. As we'll ping pong around a little more to the near side, St. Henry. Fingertip serve. And it's off of Robinette in the back row and down for Coldwater. Yachting us up at four. I believe that was Mia Kanapke, right, with the long yes. shot to the corner? Yes, sir. She is third on the team with kills. She is such a heady player as a setter. She knows when to go over on two and when to set her big hitters. Does it effectively right there. Kira Kanapke now serving for the Coldwater Cavaliers from this near corner. Dug out by Raya Busher. Teeman, cross-court pass near side. Dug out by the Cavaliers. Kanapke to Blasen. Game of hard. He cut at it. And a kill for this 5'11 senior. Nicely done. It was a short set. St. Henry actually had the block in position. Coldwater just blasts through it. Kanapke punches it away again. Knuckleball into the back row. Teeman, quick set. Trying to find a spot as Fullenkamp. Nobody in the corner pocket. And we're all knotted up once more. Ellie Fullenkamp doesn't hit it hard there, but puts it in the right place. Coach Tricia Rosenbeck said one of the things that she respects so much about Coldwater fundamental-wise is they don't let the ball hit the floor. Her team finds an opening right there. Into the back row. Cavaliers nearly let it fall as Blasingame takes a running attack. It's blocked by St. Henry. And they'll have the opportunity for this swing. A big swing from Fullenkamp. And she'll tally another point here in this first set. Another point. That's her third kill on the slide play. Fullenkamp comes with some speed. Put a radar gun on that kill. Coldwater unable to come up with it. Big time atmosphere as we pack the palace at Coldwater. A high serve receive. Kept alive by St. Henry on the swing attempt by Coldwater. Free ball back over. Kanapke back set. Blocked at the net, kept alive. Cavaliers faithful, want four. It's off of Campbell Esser on the floor. A tough play for the freshman, and it's a 7-5 lead for St. Henry. Yeah, and that's what's going to be interesting to see. Both of these teams have some pups in their lineup, some freshmen. How are they going to handle this atmosphere? Campbell, good effort right there. Just sort of caught her foot a little bit, unable to come up with it. Kanapke, back sets Blazing game, a hardy cut, blocked by Fullenkamp. Cavaliers will free ball over, pushed it wide, and that's now a three-point lead for the visitors. Nicely done right there. Sort of an unforced error for Coldwater. Bumping that out of bounds. St. Henry looking to put on a little run here early in set one. Volleyball, a game of momentum as that serve stung into the back row. Passed up ahead as Kanapke will roll it over. Team it. With the set, taking some off as Molly Wendell kept alive by Coldwater. Kanapke tried to get it in the corner, couldn't. Wendell, another swing, didn't get all of it, but got enough of it. Grow the lead to four for the Redskins. Wendell with her second kill. St. Henry doing a great job of passing that ball up to the setter. So fundamental, so crucial to be able to do that, to give the setter and the hitters an opportunity to wham it. That serve pushed to the far side and out of play. So Coldwater will break the momentum just a little bit. Break the momentum with an unforced air. And unforced airs in this type of match, you just do not want to have them. Even though you really want to be aggressive with the serve, St. Henry out on that one. Pass up ahead to Teeman. A running swing by Fullenkamp. Never got over the net. And Coldwater has quickly cut the lead to two. Morgan Blossom game serving. No, I beg your pardon, me and Kanapke serving for Coldwater. Team looking for Wendell. Got it on the line. It's inside. Our line judge yeah. makes the correct call. That is Lauren Gillen as a line judge. Jody Weigel as our other line judge. Our officials, Dan Cook on the ladder and Lindsey Tim on the floor. 10-7 the score on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. St. Henry with the lead and serving. Knuckleball into the back row. Kanapke, quick set, tip 
tipped over by Blasingame, kept alive by St. Henry. Into the back row by Carly Busher. Coldwater will climb the ladder as Morgan Blasingame slaps it to the floor. Mia Kanapke with the assist. A little bit of an overpass. She brings it back. Such technique, outstanding fundamentals, gives her team an opportunity to go with the hit. They do, they get the point. Morgan Blasingame serves for Coldwater, trailing by two. Overpass, and it's dumped to the floor by Harlow High. The 5'11 freshman makes her first impact here in set number one. Yeah, another freshman for Coldwater. You've got Campbell Etzler, Harlow Hine, and Riley Knapke, freshman on the floor for the Cavaliers. Wendell will take a hearty cut off the cold water block and down, and that will push the lead back out to 2 11 9. Four kills now for Wendell here in set one. She's come up big for St. Henry. Ellie Fullenkamp, she is the go to for St. Henry, but right now, Wendell letting her rest a little bit. Sent over by Lauren Tiemann. Harlow High climbs the ladder. It's dug out by St. Henry. Quick set, tipped into the back row by the Redskins. Kanapke, cross-court pass, Etzler off the block. Cavaliers not able to get it back over. A heck of an effort there. And the attempt to get it over the net couldn't. And the lead back to three for St. Henry. Yeah, tough play as, as the ball caromed off the block. Clear, barely cleared the net. Coldwater unable to dig it out. Another running jump serve just over the top of the tape on the knuckleball. Etzler a hardy cutting down. Cuts that one does Spencer Etzler, the Stanford bound senior for Coldwater. A lot of arm swing on that one. Reaches it at the high point. Coldwater cuts it to two. Textbook play by Spencer Etzler as Campbell Etzler will now serve. Teeman, a big block at the net by Etzler and Paige Ontrop closing that window and they've cut the lead to one. Spencer Etzler, she is in the top two in four categories. Blocks not being one of them, but she puts it on display right there. St. Henry receives the serve, back set, full in camp up high, down hard, but it's pulled up off the floor by the Cavaliers. Team in a tough angle set. Redskins get it over. Campbell Etzler. Pass to Spencer Etzler. Kept alive by Ryan Butcher, but it'll drop to the floor, and we're tied at 12. Give Spencer Etzler another kill, but you highlighted it. Mia Kanapke with the big dig right there in that volley gives her team an opportunity, and they come away with the point. Another serve by Campbell Etzler. Teeman. Cross-court pass to Busher. Tipped by the Cavaliers and down. Just barely touched by the Cavs. That might have gone out regardless without the touch, but St. Henry comes away with the point. We're tight, just like what we thought we would see, Garrett. Morgan Robin at the serve. I'm bringing a manger, I beg your pardon, with the serve. As the swing blocked at the net once more by Coldwater. They've done a nice job here at set number one. Closing those windows equal to 13. Harlow Hine right there at the net. Now she'll drop back to serve. And that's what Coldwater's had to do, mix experience with youth this year. And they have done it at the best level possible. Quick set, tipped over by St. Henry. Nobody home in the back corner, but Mia Kanapke couldn't tuck it inside the line. The lead to St. Henry as we hit the middle stages here of set number one. You mentioned it earlier. Coldwater has not lost a set this season. I asked Coach Etzler, how about adversity? What have you faced? And it's been putting that, that upperclassmen and, and freshmen together. Mm -hmm. Spencer Etzler, the swing. Dug out by St. Henry. In the back row. Received by the Cavaliers. Off the block and down from Blasingame behind the 10-foot line. Morgan Blasingame with the kill from behind the 10-foot line, the back row attack. And by putting that group together, it's not a negative. It's just that you've got eighth graders coming up as freshmen yeah. and combining them with the seniors, seeing how that will mix in the pot. And then it's been very effective for Coldwater. Blocked one more time at the net by the Cavaliers. Redskins able to get it back over. Kanapke. Cross-court pass to Blasingame, blocked and out of play. 
Morgan Blasengame making her presence known here in the middle of set one. That's two kills for her. She leads the Cavaliers in that category. 170 on the season now. Etzler, the lollipop serve, overpassed by St. Henry, and it'll drop right to the middle of the floor. St. Henry's got to settle in a little bit here. We haven't seen them overpass the ball like this uh, up to this point in the season. That's atypical for them. 16-14, another lollipop serve, and another ace for Spencer Etzler. 17-13, the Redskins want a timeout. We'll step aside as well. More first set action when we return here on WOSN. High School Volleyball tonight brought to you by the People's Bank. Invested in the communities they serve, your bank, your way, the People's Bank. Got a big crowd here on hand tonight, Dave Bowen, for a great cause between Coldwater and St. Henry. Yeah, first of all, you've got this game with what it means to league play, but it's packed the palace tonight at Coldwater. These two communities, five miles apart, are the schools, and they are raising funds for local families. The Neil Schmitz family from St. Henry, a baseball coach. Uh, he's here tonight. We've seen him. The Kale Winning family. We know the tragedy that occurred yes, with, with Kale, and then the J.R. Cow family. He's the father, father of one of the volleyball players for Coldwater, raising funds for these families. Pack the palace. And got a great crowd. Unfortunately, several causes being spoken for tonight is off the block and down out of the timeout. Yes. Coldwater's really settled in here in the middle stages of this first set, dude. They have, and in, in, um, we didn't know which way it's going to go. And yeah. We got a long night of volleyball, but right now Coldwater seems to be very, very comfortable as we head towards the end of set one. Blazing game, the serve received. Kanapke sets up the blazing game, dug out somehow, some way by Raya Busher as the Redskins will push it over. Etzler, Kanapke to the near side, Paige Ontrops. Kill attempt, kept alive, tipped up and over the block. Kanapke tries to push it in the corner. The running attempt by Brianna Mangin is pushed wide, and it's 18-15 Cavaliers. Yeah, that was a great dig by Raya Busher to give her team an opportunity. Coldwater out-executes the Redskins for that particular point, but an outstanding volley. Three-point advantage as Kira Kanapke drops back to serve for the Cavaliers. Into the back row. Team back sets full and camp blocked. Busher the diving save. Couldn't get it in between the candy canes. It's out of play. And it's a four-point lead for the home team. St. Henry had led by as many as four early in the set. Now Coldwater up by that same advantage as we inch closer to that 25 number. Can empty the serve. Busher, Teeman, a running swing and a little long. Oh, the tip, got the touch, and the Redskins get the point. Again, that's a big point right there for St. Henry. You want to be the first to 20. It's just something about seeing that two in the tens column, Garrett. And St. Henry keeps that from happening temporarily. See if they can go on a little run of themselves now. Morgan Bomber on the serve for St. Henry as they trail by three, looking to trim that lead. Into the back row, dug out by Etzler. Kanapke, blossing game, the swing, top spin, dug out by St. Henry. Busher takes some off of it, and she's called for the double contact. Yeah, Raya right there, just a little indecisive. I mean, just very minute, yes. Garrett, but she knew when she hit it, she clapped her hands, the call's made, and that's a four-point lead now for Coldwater. Cavaliers back on the serve, looking to close out set number one. Haven't lost his set thus far in 2024. Swing by Wendell, dug out in the back row by Atzar. Knapke quick sets, blazing game, nobody home. It looks like um, Mia Knapke and Morgan Blasingame have played the game together a couple days. 21-16, closing stages of set number one. We'll return with more first set action here on WOSN.
Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. 21-16 in the first set here as St. Henry got out to the early advantage. Coldwater has battled back and now has the largest lead for either side here in set number one at five. And as you mentioned, last year in league play, Coldwater took this match. It was a three-way tie for the MAC title with St. Henry, New Bremen, and Coldwater. St. Henry defeated New Bremen. New Bremen defeated Coldwater. Coldwater defeated St. Henry. Could happen again this year, but Mary Local currently undefeated. They'd like to get their name in that mix as well. Absolutely. Kanampke sends it away. Looking to close out set number one. Teeman back sets full in camp, and she'll have a hearty swing. Ellie Fullenkamp says, Coach, good timeout. Let me show you why. Cuts the lead to four, and St. Henry with the serve. And that will bring on the Redskins to serve. As it's punched away into the back row. And a prolonged contact called against Campbell Etzler. That's a tough serve received. Coming in with a lot of speed, and she was at the perfect spot to receive it at a tough angle. Yeah, that one works in beach volleyball, but not here on the hardwood. So the lead trimmed to three. Kanapke, quick sets, blossom game. She climbs the ladder. It's sent back to her. Back set, near side. Swung on by Olivia Broering. Into the back row, St. Henry with the attack. Cross-court pass, behind the swing. Pushed it wide, and St. Henry has shrunk the lead to two. Yeah, the, the spike just goes long, and Coach Nikki Etzler, she's going to say, let's talk about it. We'll keep it here, 21-19, St. Henry climbing back here in set number one. They trailed 21-16. They score the next three to get us to 21-19. We mentioned Coldwater has not lost his set thus far in 2024, 11-0, 2-0 in the Midwest Athletic Conference. St. Henry 9-1 and 2-0 in the MAC as well. And just pretty high quality volleyball here in this first set, Dave. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this match all week long. And what we're seeing in set one is what we expected. And it's going to continue through the night. Punch, counter punch. Who's going to get on a run? How are you going to stop the run? Interesting, Coach Epsler taking the timeout with the lead here and uh, just wants her troops to get reorganized. This is a big point in set number one right here. St. Henry to serve, trailing by two, 21-19. On the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Punched away, down the near line. Passed up ahead. Hine will dump it over. Redskins chase, Teeman. Quick set through the wicket to Carly Busher, and the Redskins have trimmed it to one. Coach Etzler out on the floor, changing the rotation just a little to set up for serve receive. Both coaches talked about how first contact is so important in this match tonight. Into the back row. Kanapke, cross court class, blazing game, kept alive by the Redskins, but it's going to go into the seats. And Coldwater will throw the lead back out to two. Big point right there if you're a Cavaliers fan. Stops the run. Right, push her back on the floor. The libero for St. Henry. As Blossom game punches it away. Just over the top of the tape. Redskins near side. Wendell takes some off of it down the line. Pop back up. Cavaliers have to settle for just getting it over. They do. Great play by St. Henry to keep it alive. Rolled into the back row. Kanapke, Etzler climbs the ladder and got it in between the lines. Spencer Etzler, when she gets her footwork under her, coming from the outside hitter position, man, she hits that hard, Garrett. I wouldn't want to be in the anywhere, back row trying to clean that up. Anywhere near that volleyball. That's <laughs> uh, coming with some heat on it. It sure is. I'd be playing dodgeball. I'd be trying to get away from it instead of attacking it. Blossom game into the back row. Pusher, the pass behind the 10-foot line, rolled over. And a tough receive by Coldwater. They get it back over. And the Redskins can't return. And it's now set point after the kill by Spencer Etzler. 
Unofficially, I have her for four kills here in set number one. Averages four and a half, so right at that number. And what the Redskins will live to find another day on set point. Again, an unforced air when you're down at the end of a set. Those can be real dangerous. The other team can take that momentum and build on it. It's just that St. Henry, they've got to get at least three here. Redskins into the back row. Kanaki, quick set. Hine climbs the ladder, drops it to the floor. And Coldwater will take set number one, 25 to 21. We'll step aside, come back, have second set action for you when we return here on WOSN. Tonight's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. Proud to invest invested in the communities they serve your bank. Your way, the People's Bank. Second set about to get underway here between Coldwater and St. Henry. And Coldwater still hasn't dropped a set in 2024, Dave. They are now 31 and 0. Well, St. Henry, they are 22 <laughs> and now 3 in all sets played. The common opponent, Fort Laramie, defeated St. Henry 2 0 here in the Coldwater spike off. Coldwater then defeated Fort Laramie 2 0 in the same invitational. Yeah, St. Henry essentially hasn't lost in a month, lost the second game in the opening day and has rattled off eight straight since then. It's the first point of set number two. Goes to the Cavaliers. Spencer Etzler with another kill. She let that one roll off the palm of her hand. Went with the change up. Mac Volleyball, you're used to hard and heavy, the fastball, but she goes with the changeup right there. Team in quick sets, full in camp, and she'll return the point of her own, tying us at one on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Ellie full in camp, she did have four kills in the first set, starts off the second set with the fifth kill of the match. She needs to make her presence known a little bit more here, I believe, in set two. Addie Holman will send it away, received by Essa. Spencer Etzler, the pass. Blazing game climbs the ladder. Busher, the dig. To the near side, a hardy swing and kill for Morgan Bomber. Morgan Bomber with her 65th kill of the season. Trails Ellie Fullen Camp in that category for the Redskins. Into the back row. Spencer Etzler, the swing, dug out. Falling camp takes a swing. It's kept alive by the Cavaliers. Blossom game behind the 10 foot line. Great rally as it's dumped over by Holman. Quick set in the middle. Kept alive by St. Henry. It's pancaked by Etzler. Campbell Etzler will roll it over between the antennas. St. Henry takes a hardy swing and kill for Bomber. Nicely done by St. Henry right there. That was controlled chaos. A lot of great digs. You mentioned the pancake. Both teams doing everything to keep the ball off the wood. It's a 3-1 lead for St. Henry. And now a 4-1 lead on the rotational error by the Cavaliers. Coach Etzler asking about the alignment, feeling that things were set up correctly. Talking to official Lindsey Tim. They'll get on the same page here. Yeah, you got to be just perfectly aligned inside, outside, USA. 4-1 <laughs> St. Henry on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard is home. We'll send it away. Into the back row, and Holman will have the ace. Yeah, the freshman right there stepping up for her team. Like we said, we've got some pups out there for both squads. Learning trial by fire. Tries to drop that one in the bucket. Etzler swings, Busher the dig. Behind the 10 foot line, rolled over by the Redskins. Kanapke will dump it in the fire spot. Fullen Camp tries to do the same in the corner pocket. Does. It's a 6 1 lead for the Redskins. Raya Busher again. She's a sweeper out there. Keeps everything off the floor. And as a result, 
Coldwater's going to take it to you. As will we. 6-1 on the Altman Outdoor School Board. Second set action coming up on WLSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. St. Henry with a five-point lead in the early stages of set number two as Spencer Etzler takes some off. It's kept alive by the Redskins. Blocked at the net. Busher will pop it back up in the air. Tipped over by the visitors. Kanapke, Etzler, double contact in the point to St. Henry. The double contact. If you're Coach Rosenbeck from St. Henry, you cannot be happier with how your team has responded coming into set two after falling short in set one. Great response by the Redskins. Drop that first set, 25-21. Spencer Etzler takes her frustrations out on the volleyball and drops it to the wood. Spencer Etzler says, as Lee Corso says, not so fast, my friend. We're coming back now. She's going to go to the service line. Tucked away in the far corner. Leads and aces. Complete knuckleball serve. Tipped over by Fullenkamp. Tries to find an empty spot. So does Kanapke, but it's blocked at the net by the 6-1 senior, Ellie Fullenkamp. And the lead's back to six for the Redskins. There she is, Fullenkamp doing a nice job at the net. I love the idea by Mia Kanapke right there. Take it over on two. Things were just a little discombobulated, but St. Henry, they were ready for it. Bomber punches it away, down that far line, overpass by the Cavaliers, and Molly Wendell makes them pay for it. Wendell picks up her first, fifth kill of the match. It's the biggest lead of the yes. match for either side. It's seven for the St. Henry Redskins. St. Henry looking to run away and hide here early in set two. Kanapke, back pass to Blasingame for the kill. Got it off the St. Henry defense and down. Blazing game up on the front row now. Mia Kanapke, she's going to look for her consistently as they look to fight their way back into this set. Kira Kanapke to serve. Wendell takes the swing attempt. Kept the line by the Cavaliers. Blazing game, another big kill. Give Blossom game the kill. Give Spencer Etzler the dig. That was a hard hit by St. Henry, but Etzler leads Coldwater in digs with 157 coming into this match. Get Amke. Another serve. Just trying to tuck it on that line in the corner pocket. Couldn't. And the lead grows once more to six. Just a little too fine there, but boy, she was trying to put it right back there where tough decision for the St. Henry back row, but they make the right one. Raya Pusher, the serve, blossom game from the middle, popped back up by St. Henry. In the back row, rolled over by the Redskins, overpassed once more at the net, kept alive, nearly a miscommunication by Coldwater. Wendell, the swing, too much mustard on it. Trisha Rosenbeck thought the Cavaliers had a pair of girls right at the 10-foot line attack the volleyball at the same time. Yeah, she definitely feels like there was a missed call on that particular volley. You need every point you can yes. get from both sides. As teaming. The pass to Wendell. Can ask you to dig. Etzler, near side. Hine off the block. Cavaliers keep it alive. Teeman, the swing long from Busher. Redskin faithful thought it was tipped. Instead, it's a 10 6 game on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. I actually thought that one was tipped as well, but we're about as far away from the floor <laughs> as you can be, so not my call, faithfully. Punched into the back row and a little too much on it one more time. And Coldwater has shrunk that lead to three, was as high as seven. Yeah, this is where, even though they're ahead, maybe Coach Rosenbeck thinks about a timeout just like Coach Etzler did in the last set when she was ahead. Team in quick set, pushers cut, 
blocked. Wendell will take another mighty swing at it. Busher, the dig on the return. Teeman, back set. Busher has to just settle for getting it over. Ganapke, quick sex, blazing game. It's down, and the lead is down to two. Trisha Rosenbeck does take a timeout. We will as well. More second set action for you when we return here on WOSN. Tonight's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. They're invested in the communities they serve. Your bank, your way. 10 to 8. Coldwater trying to climb back here in set number two after trailing by as many as seven. St. Henry blocked at the net as Blossom game. Oh, no, she's in the net. Caught him in the net right there. Would have been a point for Coldwater, but in this run, you got to tip your cap to the Coldwater defense. It's been Saran Rat defense to get back in to set number two. So it's a three-point lead now from the visitors right down state round 118. Blasen game to serve, receive. Kanapke right back to Blasen game. Blockeroni and cheese at the net. Busher pass to Wendell. It's blocked. Popped up to Atzler. Blasen game. Window closed. Campbell Atzler takes some off of it. Double contact and the point to St. Henry. Great defense, we talked about it for Coldwater. St. Henry looking to extend the lead back out there a little bit. Great defense on that volley, both at the net and the back row. Spencer Etzler looked to her sister and said, no more doubles. This is the only message that she needed to hear, no more doubles, as the lead grows to four. Blossom game trying to send it right through the St. Henry block, couldn't. Redskins go to Fullenkamp into the back row. Kanapke, Blasingame, tipped over, nobody home for St. Henry. Again, when Blasingame is in the middle, she's got so many options. You've got to tip your cap to the St. Henry blocks that they've had here in the last couple volleys, but that time, Blasingame finds the opening. Push the serve long. Lead grows to four for St. Henry. That's Coldwater. Yet to lose a set in 2024. St. Henry had to lead up to seven. Has it at four right now. In the middle stage of set number two. Both sides undefeated in the Midwest Athletic Conference at 2-0. Kanapke, cross court pass to Etzler. Big blocking down. Got it right back off the senior on the way back to the floor. And St. Henry feeling good here in set number two. And I believe that was a diaper dandy for St. Henry with the block. Miley Kramer, the 5'10 freshman, she actually leads St. Henry in blocks with 16 coming into today's match. Tipped over and down for Olivia Broering. She gets the kill, had 25 total kills coming into today. And Crow sinks the lead back to four. The serve from Campbell Etzler into the back row. Cut on by St. Henry, dug out by the Cavaliers. Spencer Etzler blocked at the net, kept alive by Coldwater. She'll get it off the Redskins and down on the second attack. Stick to itiveness by Spencer Etzler. First kill attempt is blocked, comes right back with the second one, gets that one to go down, cuts the lead to three. And now the Coldwater libero Campbell Etzler into the back row to the other libero, Raya Busher. Big swing. Pushed it long. I'll tell you what, I would not want to be a line judge in this <laughs> match. Tip my cap to both of these ladies doing an outstanding job. Awful lot of heat on that volleyball. As the swing block kept alive by St. Henry. Blocked once more. Able to get it back over. Kanapke, blazing game behind the 10-foot line. Busher the dig. Pushed over in two. She'll get another one. Teeman, long back set. Fullenkamp climbs the ladder, blocked at the net. Kept alive by the Redskins. And nobody's home. And the ball will drop to the floor. And the lead's down to one. 
not a miscommunication there at all, just a situation where the pass was not where the setter could get to it, and by the time Busher realized that, she couldn't get to it either. Campbell Etzler, the serve. Swung on by Morgan Bomber. Off the Cavaliers and to the wood. Bomber gets the kill again. Lauren Tiemann, she is the setter for St. Henry. Last year, she was a yeah. defensive specialist. And she has done an outstanding job switching positions this year. And she's the quarterback feeding the big hitters. Addie Holman to serve, leading by two. Kept alive on the return. Bomber never got it over the top of the tape. Coldwater has almost fought their way all the way back from that big deficit here at the beginning of set two. One point away from evening this set up. Starting at 6-1 St. Henry, got to 9-2 St. Henry. Coldwater has climbed back in it, trailing by one, serving to even it up. Tipped over, and Coldwater's across the line. So St. Henry's going to get that point, but like I always say, Garrett, in order to have a great come from behind victory, everybody loves come from behind victories. Well, you got to be behind. That's true. And if you're going to be behind, it's good to be behind early rather than late. 16-14 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Holman to serve again. Kanapke. Etzler, the swing, down. I show that as Spencer Etzler's eighth kill of the match. Some girls are going to have to ice down tonight. Going to have some sore arms <laughs> from all this swinging. Etzler the serve. Teeman back sets full and camp off the block and down. That's her eighth kill of the match. We threw out there that Ellie need to, needed to be known or her presence felt more in the second set in half. Yes, sir. Defense, 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 defense. Redskins serve. Kanapke to Blasen game. Dug out in the back row. Teeman, Wendell, got it inside the line. Decision to let that one go, and it does fall in. A big swing by Molly Wendell, the 5'10 junior. Bomber the serve. Kanapke right at the 10-foot line. Blasing game. Had a block. Try to take some off of it. Cut over by Paige Hontrop. St. Henry behind the 10-foot line. Never got it over the tape. Oh. And say the Cavaliers tipped it. And St. Henry. Wendell takes some off of it. Off the block and down, and off the block, off the dive, and the point to the Redskins. And you've got the captain, Spencer Etzler, talking to Dan Cook on the ladder. You've got the coach, Nikki Etzler, talking to Lindsey Tim on the floor. Right away, uh, Dan Cook said that ball was touched. He was calling it right away, so his mechanics were there. Not a popular call from... This the side of the east floor. side of the palace. Yeah. <laughs> Kanapke cross court pass to Blas and game off a of busher and down. Well, she made sure there was no concern on uh, whether that one was going to be disputable or not. Morgan Blas and game picks up her tenth kill of the match. Still a three point lead for the Redskins. Cavaliers serving, trying to sink their teeth into it. Here at Kanapke to punch it away. Little indecisiveness from the receive for St. Henry. Kanaki tries to dump it in a corner. Sliding save by St. Henry. Wendell tries to slam it to the floor. Coldwater ready. Blazing game. A big kill just long. And one line judge says it's touched and it does. The point goes to Coldwater. I think they got the call right. I actually thought he did from was, up here. I thought it was I in. I thought it was in as well. Yeah, I thought it was in to begin with. No hometown cooking from that <laughs> line, Judge. But we had a tip at the net. 
So Blasingate gets another kill. A two-point lead for St. Henry. Team it. Fullenkamp with big swing. Excellent. Punches it up towards the net. Tipped over by Kanapke in two. Team it. Fullenkamp climbs the ladder. Etzler gets it back over. Team it to Wendell. It's blocked. Kept alive by the home team. Kanapke. Blasingame takes some off of it. It's pancake by the Redskins. No, they'll call it on the floor. St. Henry thought they got the diving save. They didn't. The point to Coldwater, and they've shrunk the lead to one. We've seen a lot of great plays on both sides of the net, Garrett, but on that particular volley, that was Spencer Etzler's playground. We were just fortunate enough to be part of it. Team it. The back set to Fullenkamp. Big swing off the block and down. And that's what's been very impressive. Whenever there's been some adversity, uh, one team feels maybe the call wasn't right or, or whatever the case may be, that team who felt slighted has come back with great yes, middle sir. toughness and grit to get that next point. Brian Busher, the serve, down the line on the near side. Kanapke up ahead to Blasingame. Took some off it with a backspin. Punched over by St. Henry. Kanapke blocked at the net as Broering's swing attempt rejected. And the lead grows back to three for the red and white. Yeah, that was Lauren Tiemann at the net that time. That's not typically her position as a setter, but she got up there and pushed that one back down to the floor on Coldwater's side of the net. Getting to the closing stages of set number two, Cavaliers blazing game. Pop back up, tipped over by Tiemann. Kanapke, blazing game, returned by Busher. It'll drop to the floor. Not only does... St. Henry obviously want to win this match, but they know Coldwater has not lost the set all year, Garrett. On the verge of that here in the closing stages of set number two, we'll bring you the conclusion when we return on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space. By Ultimate Outdoor. St. Henry trying to do something nobody else has done to the Coldwater Cavaliers here in 2024. Take a set. They're three points away with a four-point advantage as Raya Busher will serve it away for the visiting Redskins. And Coach Rosenbeck likes seeing her at the service line. Kanapke right in the middle of the floor. Blazing game off the St. Henry block. And it's a prolonged contact for the point. Blazing game with her 12th kill. Ellie Fullenkamp, the big hitter for St. Henry. Morgan Blazing game, the big hitter for Coldwater. Blazing game, they go to her right out of the timeout, and she produces. Teeman to Busher. Kanapke, quick sets, blossom game, and a mighty kill for the senior. What do you think the topic of discussion was <laughs> in that timeout for Coach Etzler? Get it to number six. The Cavaliers trailed by as many as seven here in this set. They've shrunk it to one a couple of times, have it to two now. As Mia Kanapke, the serve, Molly Wendell, top spin. Kept alive by the Cavaliers. Pushed over by Broering. Teeman. Miscommunication. It's blocked by Coldwater. Kept alive by the Redskins. Into the back row. Kanapke to Blazing game. Received by Busher. And we've got a Redskin across the line. And the lead is down to one. So you have a violation there. Blazing game. She hits it. Into that back row to the white shirt, Raya Busher, she kicks it up effectively, but the violation gives the point to the Cavaliers. 22-21. Blocked at the net and down for St. Henry to get that lead back to two. Stopping the momentum, the momentum is Morgan Bomber with her fourth kill of the match. Lauren team and back to serve for St. Henry. Trying to win that race to 25. Overpassed by the Cavaliers. St. Henry will set up shop into the back corner. Etzler's there. 
Blazing game off of Busher and down. Coldwater gets away with the overpass. I thought St. Henry would make them pay. They do not. One point deficit. Stung over the top of the tape. Team it. Wendell tries to slam it to the wood. Kanapke swung on by Hine, kept alive by the Redskins. Etzler finds a spot on the floor where nobody's home, and we are tied at 23. What a heady play by Spencer Etzler in cold water. Timeout taken, we'll keep it here. 23-23, St. Henry led by as many as seven. Here in set number two, Coldwater has fought their way back a couple of different times. St. Henry's pulled away, and the Cavaliers have reeled them back in. And now, in the closing stages, it's 23 all on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, Coach Etzler took that timeout down four, 18 to 22, and the focus was get Morgan Blossom game the ball, and she came through. The situation now, though, Garrett, Blossom Gage, she's at the service line. She's yep. in the back row. They can go to her, but she's obviously much more effective when she's on the front line. Coach Rosenbeck challenging her team right now and letting them know number six is in the back row. Let's go play our game. Let's get this set. So 23 all. We've mentioned Coldwater has not lost a set in 2024. Looked as if at times here in set number two, it was almost a foregone conclusion that that was going to happen. It's been very Give them credit. impressive, yes. The stick to the fight, the determination. It's anybody's set right now. Lazen game to serve. Team it. Pass to Wendell. Off the block. Kept alive by the Cavaliers. Lazen game behind the 10-foot line. Dug out in the back row. Team it. Quick set and a double contact. Gives the point to Coldwater, their first lead of the set, and it's now set point. Tough call, the right call. Lauren Teeman with the double hit right there. Not something you'll see out of her very often. Blazing game, knuckleball across the line. And we'll have extra volleyball here in set number two. Yeah, a little free volleyball here in the early going. Nothing we didn't expect there. No, sir. 24-24 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Got to win by two. Kanapke, pass up ahead to Etzler. Took some off of it. Busher. The pass. Blocked, sent right back to her by Harlow Hyde and Olivia Broering. And set point once more for the Cavaliers. The freshman and the senior, Hind and Boring, respectively, build the wall. Blockalicious if you're a Coldwater fan. Campbell Ensler serving with set point. In the back row, and we're tied at 25. On four stairs again, the last two serves for Coldwater have been three points for the Redskins. And You're now, living dangerously when that's <laughs> happening. Olivia Gast serving. Still need to win by two. Here in this extra volleyball in set two. Gast. Kanapke. Dug out after the swing by Etzler. Fullenkamp into the back row. Got it inside the line. Ellie Fullenkamp with the heady play. She didn't come with the hammer. She just pushed it into that open area. Eight ball corner pocket, Garrett. Set point now for St. Henry at 26-25. Gast serving once more. Knuckle ball into the corner. Kanapke. Etzler climbs the ladder and drops it right to the wood. Climbing the ladder is the apropos statement. She put that down at the 10-foot line. No defense for St. Henry nor anyone else in the state of Ohio yeah, on that one. There is not a lot you can do with that. We're all knotted up at 26 in this big-time Midwest Athletic Conference volleyball matchup. Into the back row. Team it. Fullen camp gets her fingertips on it. Kanapke, Spencer Etzler takes some off of it. Redskins are there. Dumped into the campfire. Cavaliers ready for it. Into the back row. Team in. Fullen camp. No. 
Kept alive by the Cavaliers. Etzler, it's blocked, kept alive, and it's out. And it's set point one more time for St. Henry. What a great volley. Combination of speed and then also just going with the changeup. St. Henry comes away with a point and an opportunity again to win this second set and even this matchup. Freshman Addy home and serving. No pressure, just set point, looking to take one from somebody who hasn't had one yet. Pushed it long, and we're equal once more on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Wow, an unforced air for St. Henry. And now Spencer Etzler, who leads in aces, serving for cold water. Tiemann chases it down, tipped over by the Redskins. Kanafke, blots in game, Busher the dig. Blocked at the net, kept alive by St. Henry. Teeman, full in camp on the slide. Cavaliers are there, into the back row where there are no Redskins. The point to Coldwater, and now set point for the home team. What a play again by Coldwater, putting it where they ain't. And with that last volley, we saw that Morgan Blasen game, she's back up on the front row. Etzler, the serve, and the ace. Ends set number two. The Cavaliers still have not lost a set. Climb all the way back from trailing by seven. They'll take the second set. We'll come back with third set action for you. Coming up on WOSN. Tonight's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. Invested in the communities they serve. Your bank, your way. Set number three, Dave, between two very good volleyball teams. We've had some high quality action here through two sets. It's been worth the price of admission and you gotta tip your cap to the Cavaliers. Down six to one, down nine to two. I talked to Coach Etzler before the match about adversity, and she talked about, you know, putting this team together, youth and experience, how the upperclassmen have embraced the younger players, but they saw adversity on the court in second set there, being behind like they were, and boy, did they come through with shining colors. Coach Etzler's got to be pleased. Most teams that that happens to, it would break their will. I don't see that happening yeah. with St. Henry. They're going to come back, led by their libero, Raya Busher, and they're going to give it everything they have. You put that in the pass. Coach Rosenbeck, she's up and ready, and it's time to get locked in. The first serve from Raya Busher nearly finds the floor as Etzler off the block and down for the point. The first point on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard goes to the Coldwater Cavaliers here in set three. Served away, overpass, and a big, hearty swing from Paige Ontrop. Hammer, meat, nail, it's 2-0 Cavaliers. Yeah, and unfortunately, if you're St. Henry, this is not how you want a third set to start when you lost the second set in the fashion that they did. They got to dig in right now, Garrett, get that service back. Spencer Metzler, the serve. Knuckleball received by the Redskins. Kanapke, blazing game, off of Busher, put it in the perfect spot for Fullenkamp to slam it to the floor. Yeah, perfect spot. Not only did oh, Raya, no. she's called for the violation. We have a and, double hit, and the point. I don't. I'm not certain. It was a late call, whatever the call was. But Coldwater's going to get the point. Lolly popped over by Etzler. Redskins have to settle. Lawson game didn't have the footwork right. Didn't matter. Pushed it long. And the first point of the set goes to St. Henry on a 3-1. Addie Holman will begin the service. Yeah, the 5'6 freshman needs to get it in. An ace would be really good medicine for St. Henry right now. And climb the ladder on the Attempt, Kanapke's there, full on camp into the back row. Campbell Etzler makes the running dig. Blocked, dumped into the campfire. Busher able to get it 
up just a little bit. It still finds the floor and the point and to overall, the Cavaliers. That's what we've seen tonight. It was an error on, on Coldwater's part. They overpassed the ball, but St. Henry, they did what they tried. You know, they tried to get a hit with it, but Coldwater dug it out with that defense and ends up with the point. Kira Kanapke. Tough serve to handle. Off the block. Cavaliers diving. Kanapke finds an empty spot. Nice left hand for Kanapke. Kicks it over there on the right side of St. Henry's side of the net. Finds the wood. Really good start for Coldwater. St. Henry's got to really dig in. Lead up to four. Teeman, Fullenkamp tries to slam it to the floor. It's kept alive by the Cavaliers. Teeman, Fullenkamp one more time off the block and down. Kelly Fullenkamp picks up the kill, her 11th of the match. Just like Coldwater has gone to Blasen game, St. Henry going to Fullenkamp. Big difference between 5-2 to two and 6-1. to one. Absolutely. Bomber. Gets it just over the top of the tape. Blasingame tries to drop it where nobody's home. Busher's there. Fullenkamp does the same. Cavaliers keep it alive. Rolled into the back row. Team Fullenkamp off the block. Etzler gets one fist on it. And it's rolled over by Brory. Team Wendell kept alive by Campbell Etzler. Broaring another swing off of St. Henry to the wood. Coldwater just not letting the ball find the floor, and that's what Coach Tricia Rosenbeck said was a major concern. The defense for Coldwater just so outstanding. It's like they know where the ball's going to go, even on a tip or a deflection before it gets there. Kanapke, this serve. Teeman looking for Fullenkamp. A big swing dug out by Kanapke. And... She called for the prolonged contact. Now I think we no. had number nine in the net, Olivia Broering for Coldwater. So the lead back down to three as yes, Olivia Gast will serve for St. Henry. Received by Etzler, Kanapke. Blossing game, the running swing. Blocked by St. Henry. Tried to be slammed home into the net and St. Henry has shrunk the lead to two. Good job by the Redskins here fighting back into it. Coach Rose Rosenbeck did not need to use a timeout. She'll need those down the road in this set more than likely. Good to be able to keep them in her back pocket. Another serve by Gast. Just long. The knuckleball. Didn't have enough spin on it to tuck it inside that back yeah, line. Great read by Campbell Etzler in the back row. I'm always amazed at how these girls know if it's going to be in or out. And it's by the slimmest of margins, <laughs> yes. and they've read it correctly. Yes. Overpass by St. Henry on a receive. Kanapke, Etzler to the wood. So Coldwater takes advantage of the overpass. St. Henry, as we've mentioned, has struggled to do that consistently throughout the match. Just a bit long on the serve. We'll shrink that lead back down to five. Back down to three, I beg your pardon. The ultimate outdoor scoreboard says eight to five. And St. Henry will serve once more. Lauren Teeman stung it just over the tape. Etzler dug out by Busher. Behind the 10-foot line. Nice receive by Campbell Etzler. That one just a bit long from Spencer Etzler. Nice play by St. Henry to come up with that point during that volley. They gotta keep digging. They know cold water's not gonna go away. We saw that on display in set two. Untimely service error will grow the lead back to three for Coldwater. As Campbell Etzler, the 5-5 freshman, the libero for the Cavaliers. Into the back row. Teeman, big swing from Busher, Long, and the lead is back to four for Coldwater. Coach Rosenbeck applauding her girls, telling them to keep fighting. 
Got to try and get momentum on their side of the net with some consistency. Teeman back sets full in camp. A big swing. I beg your pardon, Miley Kramer, the back set. Wendell takes some off of it. Pop back up by Kanapke. Etzler, pass to Etzler, blocked. Out of play. The point to Coldwater, now their largest of set three at number five. A timeout taken by St. Henry. Will step aside as well. Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard says 11-6 in set three on WLSN. Tonight's scoreboard brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Out of the timeout, Coldwater serving. It's blocked and kept alive by St. Henry. Busher will get it in the back row. Kanapke tipped to Ontrop, blocked. And the Redskins never got it over the net. Another point for Coldwater. Coach Rosenbeck, that was a great timeout. Unfortunately, they don't get the point. They got to keep digging down six now. Largest lead of the set for the Cavaliers at six. They shrink back to five on the service error, and St. Henry will get the volleyball back to serve themselves. See if they can get a little run going here. Again, tradition rich St. Henry, 29 MAC championships, seven state championships. Coldwater with four MAC championships. Kanamke, Etzler, a big time swing. <laughs> 13 kills unofficially on the evening for Spencer Etzler. Riley Kanamke serving now for the black and orange. A backspin on the serve, teaming. Swung on, kept alive by Coldwater. And a double contact called against the Cavaliers. Yeah, we haven't seen that from Mia Kanaki, but we were right on the angle. She was moving to her left and pushed that ball to the right. Double hit, ball had a spin on it. Violation yep. point for St. Henry. Ellie Fullenkamp back in the lineup for St. Henry. Kanaki tries to dump it over. Redskins ready for it. As it's swung on, dug out of the back row by Blasingame. Excellent. Far side. Received by St. Henry. Fullen camp. Got it off the side of the hand. Etzler, big swing. Busher's there for the dig. Redskins take a hearty cut. Cavaliers ready for it. Etzler will just push it over. Live to fight another day. Quick set to Fullen camp. Nobody home for the point. Nicely done, a great volley, and again, you got to tip your cap to Raya Busher. She's wearing a white shirt. I'm glad they're inside. If she was outside in the dirt <laughs> with softball, it would definitely be dirt brown. Right. I was going to say, she would need some bleach, some Tide <laughs> yes. OxyClean all mixed uh -huh. together. Spencer Ensler in the middle. Busher's there. Teaming. Fullen camp takes a big cut off the block and down. Two big and needed points for yes, St. Sir. Henry. I was just about to say, St. Henry needs to build a little momentum here. Yes. Needs a momentum play. And I've got back-to-back -back points to cut the lead to three as Busher sends it away. That's right. the running swing. Nobody home for the Redskins. You want to teach fundamentals. You take that clip right there for Coach Etzler and you show it with your little Cavaliers summer camp. Let the girls see this is how you execute. You just do the little things exactly right. So difficult for to drop in an ace against this cold water serve receive as Spencer Etzler swings sends it away. Swung on by the Redskins. Kanapke drops it on the wood. Wow. Just like that, the lead's back out to five for the 11-0 Cavaliers. Outstanding execution and we can see why they haven't lost a set all Absolutely. season long. Playing one of the best teams, number one versus number two in Division Six here after the first coaches poll. Coldwater Teeman. at one, St. Henry at two. The swing wide, and to tell you the truth, even if it was still Divisions one, two, three, and four, it still it be might, one it and might two. still be yeah. one and two in Division Three <laughs> instead of Division Six. Absolutely. The lead back to six, largest, tied for the largest of the third set. 
Fullenkamp up high, dropped it inside the line. 14th kill of the night for Ellie Fullenkamp. Assist for Lauren Tiemann, too many to count. <laughs> yes, sir. Addie Holman to serve for the Redskins. Leading by five. Into the back row, Kanapke. Blazing game, a big swing off the block inside the line, and the point to Coldwater. 15 kills for Blazing game now. And Coach Rosenbach cheering her squad on. She's got to be thinking about that second timeout. I know she'd love to save it, but mm -hmm. you don't want to take it home with you, and you need to use it at the appropriate time. Right now, her team down six. Kira Kanapke served into the back row. Fullen King took some off of it. Kanapke, blazing game. Busher keeps it alive. And the Redskins in the net. St. Henry will take their last time out. They trail 18-11. More third action coming up on WOSN. Tonight's presenting sponsor is the People's Bank. They're invested in the communities. They serve your bank your way. It's 18-11 here in set number three. St. Henry taking their last time out, trying to find a way to regroup and climb back into this pivotal third set. Yeah, and Coldwater up two sets to zero. They're just playing with house money. Very relaxed out there. Fallen camp to swing off the block and down for the kill. Out of the timeout. What you'd like to see if you're a fan of the red and white. And that brings on Morgan Bomber to serve. Bomber, 5'6", junior. St. Henry comes out of the timeout with the point. They can't play one for one, Garrett. They've got to have some two and three point possessions. Overpass by Coldwater on the receive. St. Henry makes some pay. Cuts the lead. They Back do, down to five. Yeah, sorry, Garrett. They do make them pay right there. And that's something they haven't done very much. Of course, Coldwater hasn't overpassed the ball that much at all. Kanapke sets up Blazing game in the middle. Busher's there. Tipped over by Fullenkamp. Cavaliers ready. From the far side, Broaring. Teeman. Fullenkamp off the block. Kept alive. Wendell will push it in the corner. Nobody's home. Nicely done. A lot of net play on both sides of the net on that particular possession. And Coldwater's going to try to slam the door on the momentum swing right now. They lead 18-14. The Redskins score the first three points out of their timeout. And Coldwater has, as we mentioned, a little house money to play with. Not only up two sets, but also that's their first timeout of this set. Is they had grown the lead to seven before the timeout. St. Henry trying to storm back here, and we've mentioned Coldwater hasn't lost a set this year, and it looked as if they were going to in set two, and they climb all the way back, and that's a, it's a big momentum swing, and really kind of, I don't know what more builds your confidence than being down by six in the set, seven in the set, and come back to win, you got to feel real good about your chances here in set three. You do, and we talked about adversity, they faced it in that second set. And they respond. Bomber to serve once more. Out of the Cavalier timeout. Redskins have scored the last three. Blossom game. The big swing and kill to stop that St. Henry momentum. Coach Hessler takes a timeout. Who gets the first hit on number <laughs> six? Mia Kanapke serving now. And she probably didn't even have to tell Mia yeah. Kanapke that. Mia knows. Teeman back sets full in camp. She'll take a big swing, tipped and down for the St. Henry point. Good response by St. Henry. Again, they've got to go on a little bit of a run. Not mission critical here, but you don't want to trade right, one for just one. can't trade. As Olivia Gast will serve. Coldwater, a 2-0 lead in sets. Nearly the ace. Instead, Blasingame climbs the ladder and gets the kill. We've seen that throughout the match as well. 
Coldwater scrambling either because a great play to save it or in that situation, a hitting air, and they come out of it smelling like a rose because of their athletic ability, their fundamental skills, and their determination. Sent away by the Cavaliers, just long. Lead was five. Shrinks by one is Lauren Tiemann. Now on the surface for the visitors. Trailing 2016 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Kanapke. Harlow Hyde climbs the ladder and drops it right to the wood. Throwing that lead back out to five in the race to 25. Yeah, Harlow's saying, Coach, uh, I'm, I'm here too. <laughs> I know we've got Morgan, but I'm a freshman and I'm here to show what I can do and I'll do it for you the next three and a half years. Campbell Etzler, the serve. Blocked at the net on the swing from Carly Busher. It's closed. And the lead's back to seven. Yeah, give Paige Ontrop that kill. She leads Coldwater in that category this season. Campbell Etzler, the serve. Team cross court pass to Wendell. Dug out by the server. Blazing game behind the 10 foot line. Kept alive by the Redskins. Wendell, another cut. Cut it down the far side. Etzler to Etzler. Connection is open. Team back set. Tipped over and blocked. Rejected by Spencer Etzler. Make it 23 16. This was not on my bingo card, Garrett. I did not see a 3-0 sweep. Obviously, it's not over, but things look very, very dim for St. Henry right now. Gamble Ensler's serve. Attack by St. Henry into the net, and it's match point for the Coldwater Cavaliers. Another block for Paige on trot. St. Henry, no timeouts to use. Campbell Ensler, the freshman to serve. Set to end it on an ace by her sister Spencer Etzler. Into the back row. Overpass, Hine, hammer, nail, match to Coldwater. 25-16 in set number three. As you said, Garrett, set number two, St. Henry gave it all they had. They had momentum. Coldwater fought their way back to win the second set. And as it turns out, set number three, I'm not going to say it was a formality because St. Henry is an outstanding club, but Coldwater would not be denied. St. Henry took an early lead in set number one. Coldwater storms back, wins it 25-21. In the second set, they led by as many as seven. The Cavaliers rally and win 29-27 in set number two. And in set number three, it's all Cavaliers. They take the sweep 25-16 and have yet to lose a set here in 2024. Last year, these teams played three times. You mentioned that in the opener. Coldwater took uh, match one and two, but fell in the district championship. They won't play three times this year, but I would not be surprised that they play two times and meet each other again in the district championship. And I know Coach Rosenbeck, they'll take this and they'll learn from it. But Coach Etzler's squad, wow. Number two, St. Henry gave number one Coldwater quite a challenge. The Cavaliers able to answer that call and win in three sets, moving to 12-0 on the season and 3-0 in the Midwest Athletic Conference in a pivotal match that might decide the conference championship for St. Henry, just the second loss of the season. They dropped to 9-2 and 2-1 two, and two in, in the MAC. That'll do it from us here in Coldwater for our entire WOSN crew and Dave Bowen. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. We'll catch you next time here on WOSN.